Hi everyone, in this video I'll go over how to quickly test a form for accessibility. We'll be testing a form for these five things all forms need to be accessible. Clear instructions, an accessible label for each field associated with one input, a logical navigation order using tab, keyboard accessibility, and accessible and usable form validation. If you'd like to review these five things in more detail, check out our article, A Beginner's Complete Guide for Accessible Forms, linked below. Let's get started. Most of the testing we'll do is manual testing, but we'll also use the WAVE extension to test for accessible labels associated with one input. The form we'll be testing is to request information from a university. There are 18 fields, so let's start by testing the things we can tell just by reading it, starting with clear instructions. I'm looking for clear instructions about what fields are required, any special formatting requirements, field labels saying exactly what is needed, and if there is anything unique to this form that needs to be explained. Required fields do have a star, but there's no text saying required fields are indicated with a star before the form, so this could be confusing to someone who isn't familiar with that symbol. I would make that more clear. All the fields are clear about what information is needed except the state field. The label is state, but the placeholder text says province or territory. It would be clearer if the label said state, province, or territory, so the field labels could be clearer. Lastly, it doesn't look like they require any special formatting or have anything unique that might be confusing, so we are good there. Now I'm going to use the WAVE extension to make sure there is an accessible label for each field, and it is associated with one input field. If there isn't, it'll return an error or alert. There is one missing form label error, so I'm going to click on the missing form label icon and it takes me right to the field with the error. From here, I can select reference to read more about how to fix this error or select code to look at the HTML. So I have one label related error. Part of the accessible label is also using a screen reader to make sure each field makes sense and is announced correctly. So I'm going to turn WAVE off and go through the form with my screen reader next. Welcome to VoiceOver. First year undergraduate, required invalid data, radio button, one of two, term, expected entry term, year, high school graduation year, met first name, star first name, required invalid data, edit text, middle name, edit text, last name, star last name, require email, star email, require mobile phone, star mobile phone, month, month star, day, day star, year, year star. The incoming student status and date of birth labels weren't read aloud. I'm using Max VoiceOver screen reader and know that it doesn't read field set labels aloud when I focus on an input field. So after looking at the code, I know these are still correct and it's just my screen reader. Country, country of citizenship star, mailing address star, mailing address, city star, city, required invalid, zip code slash postal code star, zip code or postal code, country, country of residence star, required province slash territory, required invalid data, edit text. Do you have any questions? If so, an admission specialist can contact you directly. We are here to help. Edit text. The state field didn't read the label either, which was expected because it had the missing form label. So there was only one error when we tested with the wave extension, and the fields were announced correctly when we used a screen reader. Now I'm going to go back to the top of the form and use my keyboard to make sure I can tab through in a logical order and complete the form using only a keyboard. When it comes to logical order, I want to make sure I can tab to the date of birth, month, day, and year fields in a row, which I can. Next, I want to make sure I go through all the demographic information before going to the question box, which I am able to do. So, I was able to use tab to go through the form in a logical order. And I was able to use tab, spacebar, up and down arrows, and enter to complete the entire form. I did leave some fields incompleted so we can test form validation. Next, I'm going to turn the screen reader back on and submit the form to check if the error messages are clear when using a screen reader. The helper text is programmatically tied to the field and if it focuses on the first error message. Welcome to voiceover. I agree slash submit button. You are currently on a button inside of a group. To click this button, press control, option, space. The focus didn't change, so I have to shift tab to go back up to the fields and find the fields with the errors. There are a lot of fields on this form, so it is a lot to navigate. 
It would be easier if there was a message with a list of errors, or at least how many errors there are, since there are so many fields. Do you have any questions? If province slash territory required invalid data, edit text. Country, country of residence star, required invalid data menu pop-up collapsed button. The instructions could also be clear if the helper text beneath the fields with issues were programmatically tied to the field, so when I focused on that field, the helper text was read aloud. So, the focus needs to be adjusted, and the error messages could be clearer with better instructions and by programmatically tying the helper text to the fields. Overall, there were some issues with clear instructions, label and input association, and the form validation. The logical tab order and keyboard accessibility were good though. Remember, manual testing doesn't have to take long, and the sooner you start practicing, the quicker you'll get. You're ready to check your own forms for accessibility.